and you'll be like, mm, that's not really me. Because it's not. Listen to that little voice inside of you because she is correct. Hi guys, welcome back. So I thought I would do a very simple outfit ideas video. Looking at what you've already got in your existing wardrobe and just coming up with some outfit ideas for you for how to dress for the Really, it's for like the Thanksgiving season. You don't have to dress up if you're going to like a fancy Christmas party, but you still don't want to turn up like you just rolled out of bed either. So you want to sort of strike that balance of coming up with some outfit ideas that's just sort of what you're thinking of maybe wearing. So you just look sort of dressy casual. So these are some ideas that I came up with. They are things that I'm actually thinking of contemplating wearing over the next, not just for the Thanksgiving period, but outside of that, because viewers outside of America, you know, we all have like that party season or holiday season. I'm going to show you six outfits. Hopefully they will inspire you. Um, none of them have jeans. Anything that I'm wearing, I will link it obviously in the description box below. If I can't find it online, then I will obviously link to symbolism. All right, so I'm just going to get stuck in. Right. First look is what I'm wearing at the moment. This is a, I think I got this from a vintage shop. It is a star print uh, blouse and I've always admired it. I always think it's just something that just stands the test of time. Uh, and to just sort of dress it up a little bit, I paired it with just a long, ultra long pleated skirt. I don't have that lens that I told you I'm waiting to go on sale during Black Friday. So you can't see the whole of this outfit head to toe. So I'm gonna do some cutaways so you can see exactly how this looks on me. But I really do like this. It's just ultra long, it's an H&M skirt. I think I got this literally in the size if not a 12, maybe even a 14. I really went big because I wanted it to be ultra long, which it is. I paired it with these Acne Brogues, gorgeous. These were originally um, purple and I had them dyed. I didn't dye them myself. Some of you think I dyed them myself, I didn't. Um, I had a cobbler dye them black for me and I really like how they came out, which is how I originally wanted them anyway. Um, I found them at Woodbury Commons outlet sale. So they were like a fraction of um, retail because I think they were like that bright purple but I knew that if I just dye them black, then they would be worth it. So that's what I did and I teamed it with this skirt because I just like that combination of wearing something quite feminine and then juxtaposition it with something that's much more sort of, um, I don't know, just a bit more edgy if that makes any sense, a bit more boyish. I love that kind of look. That way I don't feel like I've lost me. So this is just a first look idea of what you could wear. Okay, so for the next look that I had in mind, I thought of why not go with really autumnal colours. So I picked out this tangerine kind of bright orange sweater. It's a very fine knit, which to me makes it more practical to wear during indoor sort of events. Um, and I teamed it with these beautiful velvet chocolate brown culottes. It's high waisted here. Um, and all I did was, it goes all the way up to here, and I, all I did was I just sort of half tucked the jumper all the way around. Um, and I like the two colors playing together because this kind of color being so bright and warm, like an orange tangerine, goes very well, or goes perfectly, I think, with brown, like a chocolate brown, so that's one tip to remember. So I'm just gonna show you a little bit more. Oh, and look at the shoes that I teamed it with. I went with these from Mango. I've had these for, I think, a season or two now beautiful i really love these particular shoes they look so 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 good on um i just yeah the great block heel keeps them very comfortable and they are in that tan which is really really neutral just to add to that if you're thinking about okay so what would i wear karen like coat wise when i'm arriving this goes with this at least to me i like because this is all warm colors that was the whole inspiration behind this idea but i like this combination it's very kind of rich colors appropriate for this season but it still walks that line to me of being dressy casual because you've got this which has got a little bit of tailoring and you've got like a fine knit which always sort of leans towards being a bit more sort of dressier than just like a typical oversized chunky knit and then of course you put on a pair of culottes which now if you want to wear a dress so i have this and then i thought okay so it has a split here I'm looking in the monitor so I can see it. As you can see, look at that. You can obviously put a safety pin and make it go all the way to here if you want. Or, I obviously am wearing it with bare leg, but in this time of the year, 
especially if you know the sort of journey of how you're going to somebody's um, party. You can obviously wear a pair of tights with this, whether it's a sheer, opaque, you decide based on the type of trip that you're taking to the event. I decided to team it with a pair of Stuart Whiteman boots. I will show you back here just so you can see how they look. They are old Stuart Whiteman's boots. I've had these for a while. They have a small block heel. I will put cutaways in, obviously, so you can see them. Definitely over the knee boots and I absolutely love them. They are stupid comfortable. Now you can go with two options with your coat. I have this one, oh gosh, and this happens to be H&M as well. My goodness, that was not planned. It's just a simple, basic black coat. I love the lapels on it, look at that. Very, very classic, isn't it? This is not going anywhere in your wardrobe. And because the coat is so long, I love teaming it with a long dress like this. This is the whole look and then you can just carry any bag. To me, this is something you can easily replicate in your own wardrobe. Look at the summer dresses. Look at the pieces that have preferably a darker print to them, but much more sort of subdued patterns to them or are, like I said, much more darker, generally speaking. Those tend to lend themselves to looking much more seasonal in the winter months. To me, I'm much more of a fan of wearing winter floral dresses or just dresses in general with a floral pattern during the winter. It's less expected, it's just as comfortable because it's a one piece and you could easily layer something like this up or down. I could have put a turtleneck under it, thicker tights under it, Heck, I could even layer this under a pair or over a pair of jeans and just wear a pair of loafers to really kind of casualize the dress down. So think about your pieces in new ways, just a little bit more unexpected than the usual. Just because you've got a floral dress, don't think that you can only wear that during you know, spring and summer. You can wear that right now. You can wear that next month after this video and the month after that. Just think about how much you can layer up or down and just decide on what you want to do. Also, and I just, you know, I just like to throw this in. Gosh, this is embarrassing. I don't only wear H&M, I promise you, but this, oh God, this is H&M. Anyway, I hate doing that when you just find out that everything you put on is one brand. Anyway, I like the idea of even wearing something like as casual as this. So you've got like this, which is a bit more boxy, and you can turn the collars up just like this and just wrap it around you and just do this. Oh my God, and then you could take a belt. Like, just do that, right? Just like that, and then take a skinny belt and put a belt right there. <gasps> yeah, put a belt right there, and then you go, oh God. You know what? <laughs> anyway, I, I, you, you understand what I'm trying to say. I love the idea, I, but the point is, you're comfortable, you look good, and you're dressed appropriately. To me, again, this walks the line between being casual but smart at the same time. I love, I love this combination. This is when you can like play around. This is the adult playing ground, in my opinion, as far as fashion is concerned. So that to me epitomizes this. It's very simple, but anyone can do this, can't you? I've just got on this simple cable knit, chunky burgundy jumper and a satin um, slip with it. You can go with easily choosing one color and it doesn't have to be black, does it? You can pick, pick any dual color. Pick your favorite color, especially if it's a dual tone, oh, which is me. I love them to death. Pick one of your favorites and why not? Just pair them together. As long as the fabrics are in two separate materials, pick one that is thinner, pick one that is thicker, put them together, magic taking color just a little bit further. I didn't go with burgundy on the feet. I went with these Stuart Weitzman Lowland boots. I have them in navy. Some of you were like, oh, you should dye them. Oh, don't dye them because I was thinking about dyeing them black. But you lot said, no, no, keep them navy. It's so unusual, unexpected. You can't get the navy anymore. So I thought, you know what? I'll hold on, I'll take your advice and I will keep wearing the navies for now at least. So I wore them with these navy boots. Again, I'll insert cutaways so you can see them a bit closer. The Lowland boots, my gosh, these are ridiculously comfortable. And when I go through the Black Friday sales pits later on in the week, as soon as I see these go on sale in the best available sizes and colors, you know I'm going to tell you lot first. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram as well because 
In between videos, I'm also gonna be putting them up on my Instagram stories. With a link, you can just swipe up on my story on where you can just instantly buy something that's like so amazing, a deal that I think is just gonna go up before I even get a time to like record and let you guys know about it on YouTube, you'll at least be able to see it on Instagram. All right, so anyway, going back to this, yeah, I love it. I mean, there is nothing more I can really say. It's simple, it's easy. Pick one color that you absolutely love. That is the rule for this one. You can go from relatives party or Thanksgiving or anything like that to the office as well. You can obviously dress this up even further if you want. Switch out the boots, put on a pair of heels. Oh, and as far as outerwear, I'd probably wear this single-breasted coat. I like the idea of just putting something very simple on and then you just got that flash of this gorgeous colors that's coming through. Another look for you, which is to me very dressy casual, is this one. I just went with something a bit more lightweight. So I've got like a t-shirt, a plain t-shirt. Now you remember I told you in my other video that my holes in my wardrobe, because I talked about holes, things you're missing. Um, I don't have basic black and basic white t-shirts. This is actually a graphic tee that I have worn back to front for this video, but um, that's my way around it. That's if you're going to somewhere and this is part of your look, the velvet blazer, which to me, this would be. I'm not gonna be taking this off, so it's absolutely fine. No one's gonna know. And yeah, it just gets the look. So that's just a little tip for you. If you don't, if you know you're not gonna be taking your jacket off. I could have worn a white t-shirt or a different color, but these are culottes, by the way. I like the idea of just wearing all black it doesn't break up anything so the line is just long and lean or these black culottes tied here with a buckle i like this little detail here but this could have been like threaded through but i just like the idea of just leaving it just hanging casually like down like this i don't know i just kind of like it um so it just keeps it more casual but obviously you can just do it all the way around like this but i just left it this way um so yes yeah, so you've got these culottes which have like great pockets so nice and comfortable and i just teamed it with a plain black uh t-shirt you could have teamed this easily with a button-down shirt in any fabric of your choice if that's the look that you're going for but i just wanted to go with two simple colors for this and to me just wearing black with the black brogues from Stella McCartney, which I have on my feet, and this taupe colored uh, mango blazer. I'll insert some cutaways, obviously, so you can see the full look of what I'm wearing. This feels very Karen, it really does, because I've got like the men's tailoring of the blazer going on, which I'm all about. And then I've got like the Stella McCartney brogues, which I'm all about as well. They're very sort of me and they've always felt very me. Um, and it's a nice way to just sort of put your own stamp on your individuality to your outfits. Don't ever feel like cookie cuttered in any way for any occasion. Put a bit of you, whatever is intrinsically you, regardless of trends, regardless of what everyone is wearing, regardless of what you are being told you should wear. There's always a part of you that goes, when everyone say, anyone says that, oh, you need to be wearing this, like capsule wardrobes, oh, you need to be wearing a striped tee with a blazer and a blah, 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 blah. Oh, always know that you can keep a bit of yourself, and you know that, or it. Wear what feels and speaks to you. All right, so that is my lot. I just wanted to give you some really simple outfit ideas on what you can wear probably over the Thanksgiving period and beyond to look into your wardrobe and to see what you already have. Everything to me, I wanted to keep it all very comfortable. I wanted you to feel special in it, if it makes any sense. So you feel like you've made an effort, but um, I didn't want you to ever feel like your comfort was compromised. And I think that's important to me whenever I go around to people's homes, whether it's friends or relatives, I want to feel comfortable because when you are, you look your best. You carry yourself better. You just, you just are at your best. You show off your outfit at your best when you are your most comfortable self literally and metaphorically speaking. So I hope that helped you. Um, let me know in the comments below if it did. And if it did a little bit, just give this video a thumbs up. Um, I don't know which is my favorite. If you've got a favorite, then let me know in the comments below. As I said, I'm gonna be applying these outfits to my uh, occasions and events that I'll be going to. Again, I want to be comfortable. I wanna be casual. You don't wanna look try too hard, but you wanna look a little bit dressy at the same time. Um, and that is it. Um, just a last minute reminder, please follow me on Instagram for any updates on the Black Friday sales throughout the rest of this week because they are coming up 
thick and fast just like I thought they would. Um, I've actually seen some really killer sales already. Um, I'm going to link to them below. Happy shopping. If you do get anything, tell me what you get. Tag me on Instagram so I know what you got. You know I'm a nosy parker. I love to see what you lot get up to from a shopping perspective. Anyway, that is it. That's my lot. This is just an inspiration video for you to just keep in your pocket and to use not just for this particular week but like i said throughout the holiday and the winter period when you just go to any occasion when you want to be a little bit more dressed up so hopefully that will help you and i think that is it i can't think of anything else except have a good week i will see you on friday if i think the sales are absolutely ridiculous and i've got to do an additional video then I will probably try, at least I'll, yeah, I'll try and do one on Thanksgiving itself that Thursday. Um, I don't know. Anyway, thumbs up if you like the idea of me doing like an additional video on Thursday or not. I don't know. Or should I just leave it till Friday? Oh, I don't know. My mind is like all over the place at the moment. All right. I'm going to stop waffling again. Sorry about that. I will see you guys when I see you. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so that is my lot. I just wanted to give you some really, oh, oh, here we go. I can't fix this. The amount of fluffing you do before you press record is just, oh my God, it's ridiculous. Striking that balance of, doing, of, of, I want, eh, and I paired it with these acne brute, bleh, <laughs> acne boobs.